Alright, so it's Nicholas back again and I'm back with another great tutorial. This tutorial is how to create QR codes. Now, you may ask, what is a QR code? But if you search for a video, you probably already know what it is. That's why you're watching the video. But basically, the summary of what a QR code is, is a, it's a pictorial image that contains information. It could be text, URLs, um, data, in general, it just contains data. It's that's in a um, picture format that you can generate out of the picture. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to the Mac, and what I'm gonna do is show you this awesome website called QRStuff.com, and show you how to create your own custom QR codes, which you can use for anything else. Let's say, for example, business cards or whatever. So yeah, let's switch. Okay. So now that we're at the website, I already entered the information that I would like to be shown because it'll make the video a little faster. So first, we're at QRStuff.com. The first thing you need to do is select what type of data type it is. Either it's URL, YouTube, it's a whole list of what you want to choose. So whatever you're using it for, that's what you do. Um, next, what you're going to do is click website URL. The website I'm using is my own website, NicholasKN.com. And then the coding type is static, meaning that the URL for this QR code would never change. If it was dynamic, though, I can generate the QR code and I can change the link later um, in the background. So that's the only difference. So if you don't mind making new QR codes, then go with static. If you have a business card, but you don't know how long you're going to keep your URL or you're constantly changing information up there, then go with a dynamic. Next, you will choose your foreground foreground color, and the foreground color is basically the color of the QR code. So I already just did a blue one. I'm just going to do a green one now. But also, remember, darker colors work better with QR code than lighter colors. I've tried this with multiple colors, business cards, uh, posters. If you use lighter color, there's a highly good chance that your QR code may not, may not work. So a color like this basically would not be seen by some phones, especially if, they have, if the user has a cheap phone. A color like this will work, and if this color is kind of pushing it, but I'm just gonna go with this. And next, you just download the QR code. It saves in your downloads folder, or wherever your browser automatically downloads, and this is your QR code. And this is all you need, this is all you had to do. You can do this in about, about 10, 15 seconds. And the best part is you can do multiple colors and all this is free, no sign up or anything. So yeah, check out QRStuff.com. You never know, it might help your business out. You never know what could happen by just using the QR code. So yeah, please like and subscribe to this video. Thanks.